Hey everybody, welcome to this brand new Five Nights at Freddy's 2 video. Today we're going to be talking about Steam Workshop and how we'd like it implemented into the game. And if Scott actually added this in, it would be just how beneficial it would be to the actual game itself. And back, I'm back again with Pro Clash Gamer. Say what's up. Yo. <laughs> Yo. But anyways... We're yeah, I, about... I heard you stutter with my name. What are you trying to say, son? <laughs> we're going to be talking about uh, what we'd like to see added in um with this workshop if he decides to add it in so i mean there's just so many things he can actually do with adding in this workshop for instance skyrim has one and you've seen what people can do i mean oh lord yeah they can add in new textures new mods new characters new like what else can they add in they they can add in anything they can make their own maps and everything yeah so, i mean if five nights of freddy's gets one they could make it 3d scott wouldn't even have to do that anymore i know i mean let's say you want barney running at you oh my god instead of freddy you could have that if That'd they make this if they make this team workshop you can have that if you want to be on a map in i don't know antarctica or something they can make that map if there's a tv in the background that you don't like that it's blurry and somebody can make a mod and make it not blurry anymore i don't know why that matter but i mean there's just so many different things they could do with this right yeah, I mean, they could make the uh, TVs in the background play movies and stuff. <laughs> yeah. Get bored in the game. Exactly. They could make it just... If he opens up a Steam Workshop, he could make the game seem even more realistic with the amount of ideas people could put into the game. Exactly. I mean, really. And I mean, let's say he doesn't want to make multiplayer. Somebody can make a mod for multiplayer. I don't even know if that's possible. But, I mean, just think about that. Just If he doesn't want to do something, the, the fan yeah. base will do it for him. I mean, it's, it's pretty awesome. I've seen a lot of game creators take the ideas from their fans and he just adds them, you know, to the end credits or to the beginning of the modern game he made. So it's not like, you know, he gives you credit, you know, the game creators give you credit, guys, and it's amazing to see how many people would see it and play it and like your idea. So, yeah, like um, for Alien Isolation, didn't they actually just add in a uh, VR headset mod to where you can actually play using the headset like that? Uh... What's that thing called? The virtual reality headset? I guess that's yeah, Oculus, Oculus Rift. Rift. Oculus Rift, yeah. They've added that in to make the game first person. I mean, that's cool. Like, what somebody can make a mod, for instance, to where the game is first person, but you can actually walk around the place. Like, wouldn't that be so cool? Just, like, yeah. it makes a texture pack, so it makes everything looks, you know... Because, obviously, how we're seeing it, if you go closer to the textures, like, uh, let's say somebody does make a mod where you can actually move around. If you go closer to the textures that are in the back, they're going to be a lot more blurry because... You know, he has them set to where they look good from afar, not up close. But somebody can make a mod, make those textures look good, and make a mod where you can just walk around and just do whatever you want. I mean, there's just so many things you can actually do with this. It's crazy, right? I mean, like, what what's some of the stuff that you'd like to see, like characters, for instance? Um, You know, I like that Barney idea. That was really good. <laughs> yeah. I'd like to see in. Tito Bear in that. Yeah. That would be pretty cool. I mean, you could just add a lot of memes in there. We could add Doge in there. You know what would be scary? Alien from Alien Isolation. Now that we're talking about that, just seeing that thing run at you. Oh, my God. It'd be insane. Oh, man. That, yeah, that would work, too. Because I've seen that thing run. Yeah, one thing that would be kind of weird is adding in maps. Like, how would he be able to fit that in? Like, somebody that wants to make a map for the game? That would be hard to do. Yeah. Unless was... they just change the same map into different colors and stuff. I mean, you could do that easily. Yeah, for sure. And then mods but they wouldn't are... be able to. Yeah, they wouldn't be able to change it that drastically, though. The yeah. map itself. Like mods, are, like we were talking about with mods. I mean, there's texture packs. There's new characters. There's what else is there? I mean, honestly, <laughs> do anything, <laughs> tweak yeah, it. Anything you want. Um, it's crazy. The like, speed, you know, everything. For, for CS:GO though, they let you add in like weapons, right? Like use your yeah. new weapons. So I mean, there's just there's a lot you can do with this. And uh, yeah, I mean, I think that's for pretty much what we want to talk about in this video i want to know what you guys want to see if he decides to add in this workshop for instance whether it be characters you want to see barney riding a donkey coming at you <laughs> like just what do you guys want to oh, see? oh shrek shrek yeah, is life shrek, shrek, shrek is love shrek coming at you wanting to rape you i mean just whatever you guys want to see maps characters texture packs whatever it is tell me in the comment section down below and yeah, be sure to check out Pro's video where we talked about the triangle and what we think it actually means and stuff like that. And that's about it. Thank you guys for watching, and we will see you guys in the next video. Peace. Yeah.